Hello. In this session, I'm going to show you how to mark your buttonholes um, on this leaf in the calf area. Okay, so this is my calf here. So you need to make sure your calf is completely finished and slip stitch and everything is what's going to be done is done. Um, give a good press because um, otherwise it sometimes it's just interferes all your lining. So when that is all done, so you need to concentrate on the opening of your calf. So here's my opening here. And um, it's the buttonholes will go on top of the um, top sleeve and uh, where they you're going to see. So top of the calf. All your... Um, buttonholes are eight millimeters away from the from the opening of the edge. So I'm going to mark that straight away in chalk, which is helps me. And again, if you have your calf, if you've got your pattern and you've done your buttonholes, um, just transfer and place your calf and just transfer those that measurement into your calf. If you don't have that, again, it's in my instruction, you can find the formula. So what you actually really need for three buttonholes, can you see that? Yeah, for three buttonholes, so you can obviously have um, less and more, but uh, we're going to do three buttonholes um, for this type of style. So for three buttonholes, you need to um, measure calf opening divided by four. So here's your calf opening. So I'm going to measure my calf opening here. So yours one probably would be similar. Um, and um, because I think it's a standard, I, I give the stand calf, which is about um, um, 9.67. So you can measure yours one, depends how accurate you are. So go with your measuring and divide that measurement divide that measurement into um, four. So when I you receive the, when you find out what exactly your measurement, so mine is um, around 2.4. So I'm going to measure 2.4 in the between. And that gives me a good division, okay? You see that? So now I'm going to, in the same manner, again, um, depends of your size and usually is smaller. Your buttonholes is, uh, at the sleeves would be much smaller. So I'm going to mark them about 2.5 distance. They are <laughs> much smaller. And you need to mark them. Again, it depends what type of machine and what how you're making them. Um, it's a similar way, so you mark them through the all the layers. So the machine we have at university is the industrial one, which is you have to mark all your buttonholes on the inside. Uh, so therefore, so if you mark them, so you can go need to go through all the layers, make sure you have. Um, so it's marked on the inside there, which is didn't mark because it didn't go through. So I'm going to do it again. So that it's quite important you do that. So you go through. Okay, that. Like that and then give like a T shape. You're quite thick, so it's quite important that you are um, going through that. So I've done that. Let's see. So yeah, there we go. So it marked your the position of your buttonhole. Okay. So it's lots of um, thick layers there going on. So I just need to make sure my is perfect. There we go, and then go one side to the other. So go through all the layers. So that's what I did through all the layers, and that way it's all marked. Okay. 
So if you look there, so you would know where the button hole starts and when it's finished. Usually in the um, machines, they are set measurement. Um, so it doesn't matter really where this finish, the button hole, the most important where they're starting and the, um, the lines, the position of them. So it's quite important you do that. And then I'm going to do that. Right, now that's done. Okay, and if you do need it to go and remark them that side, yeah, absolutely you can just to make sure it's more um, more straighter or longer, or if you're thinking actually, yeah, so, so something says, and even so you can remark them on this side, but at least you know it all transfers all the measurements and all the position of the button hole transfers to that. To that side and make sure it's even in the between. So you have to check and and um, spend a little bit of time on that to make sure it's all nice and even. So the next part would be marking your button buttons, and for this I always use uh, a needle and place my um, vent. Make sure it's all close, um, very nicely, neatly, how it should be in the perfect, perfect, great, perfect sleeves, and then. Put my pin inside like that. So lift it up and then it gives you exactly the position. So if you see, if you can't see, so see, pin it there and it gives you exactly the position of your buttonhole. So, and that way I can, sorry, a position of the button. And that way I just mark there. You see that? And you've got a little you've got little dot there which is would be the button okay usually on this one i mark um buttons after when the button holes are done but um a nice good practice for you to measure your you know to mark your buttons as well so i'm going to put that um, like that so that and then lift it up and then mark with the chalk where the position of my buttons okay so now you can see a little dots there where the buttons will usually go again if i think there's something odd going on if it's something they're not on a straight line you just need to straighten physically you're just thinking okay check again make sure it um, goes um, appropriate to your button holes and you just mark that. So I'm going to mark that way and just create the line to make sure it's on the line. The one button is slightly moved, so I need to make sure it stays on that line. And then simply again, the same way as you've done before, you just mark them with the um, cross, little cross there. Okay, well, those. Um, buttons I'm not really bothered about if you mark them or not. What I really want is make sure your buttonholes, the position of your buttonholes is um, is perfect. Oh, I just did it the one way round. The position of the buttonholes is um, perfect. Um, So yeah, you just create a little cross here, so in order to to see where the buttons go. And then when you've done that, you can check yourself if they are in the right place. So again, pinning all together. There we go. Okay. Don't make any knots in there so it's easy for you to take it out. Um, yeah. And now you know, I'm going to check, make sure it's all sitting in the right place. 
Okay, perfect. You see that? Okay, the, the shoe is all matching together and you can also lift this up and see if they um, match in in that sense, yeah? Right, that's all done. And um, if you've got any other questions, please do um, contact me. Otherwise, see you next video. Bye.